It was Thursday's snowfall and rain that pushed us over the edge. Five to six inches of snow in this part of Carroll County, a little bit more to the north and west of here. With the mix of snow and rain at 508 Friday morning, it was declared by the National Weather Service that 63.01 inches of rain had fallen so far this year at BWI Marshall, beating the previous record of 62.66 inches. There's been almost every possible thing you could think of to bring us heavy rain all in one year, and that's what's added up to having a record rainfall year. We spoke with Jason Elliott, a senior service hydrologist with the National Weather Service, and he says now his office is keeping a close eye on the 365-day total, which stands just below 66 inches. If we get to there, which, you know, there's still 45 days left, it seems like we can easily get there if we don't go totally dry. If we get to that point, then we're really talking something historic. The rainfall was historic with after effects from Hurricane Florence and Michael helping. We have sustained winds here of now anywhere from 45 to 50 miles per hour, and we've had gusts up to 60. Historic flooding was once again seen in Ellicott City. Baltimore County found itself underwater a couple times as well. Pulaski Highway was treacherous at Gold Ring Road and at Martin Boulevard, and this is Martin Boulevard at Eastern Avenue. Storm debris made a mess in Annapolis and at the Conowingo Dam. According to Exelon, the owners of the Conowingo Dam, this is the largest volume of debris that's come downstream in 20 years. According to data from the National Weather Service, we set five daily rainfall records this year, and we had the wettest July ever at almost 17 inches of rain. And we still have all the rest of November and all of December to break that full yearly record. If I was a betting person, I'd say those odds, unfortunately, are pretty good. If you'd like to take a closer look at some of those weather events, historic flooding that we saw in parts of uh, central Maryland this year, we've got some links on our website, WBALTV.com, and on our mobile app. We're live in downtown Ellicott City tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.